Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you products that I love. Ignore the hands. I faked hand last night and you're only meant to leave the channel for an hour. And I slept in it. And now I literally look like a pure Oompa Loompa. This looks horrible. But I've had a lot of people ask me what products I recommend. And what my favourite go-to products are. And how to get my makeup good. And people have just been requesting this video. So I thought I'd film this video. Because I don't know what else to film. So I haven't got any makeup on now. It'd probably make more sense if I had some makeup on. But I got home and literally went and washed my face. Double cleansed my face. Because anything that has been in that school I do not want on me. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you all of my favourite products. And products I recommend. And I've got, I've tried, I've been trying a whole load of new makeup now so these are all of my favorite bits and bob the first one is 101 percent my flawless feels that this is my favorite thing ever i've got this in shade 5.5 i have to rate it out of 10 i'd literally say 9.5 and it's only got a 0 0.5 missing because my letters have been coming off and people say the letters don't come off anymore but all of the red writing bits are coming off if you can see i don't know if you can see can you see I don't think you can see, but this is my favourite thing ever. It makes my makeup look so good and so glowy. And it's like, I don't like full coverage makeup. I like natural makeup. I like the whole natural vibe. And this is perfect for it. Flawless Filter is the most perfect thing for natural makeup. I feel like it just gives you that glow and a teeny bit of coverage. And it makes me look more tanned. And I like that. The second favourite thing is my Kosas Concealer. I need to whip out all of the Kosas Concealers I have. I think I have like four favourite concealers ever. And I got two as a gift. I bought one when I first got concealer. And this is the only concealer I've ever used. Like, this is the only concealer I've actually ever bought with my own money. And I'll continue wearing this one because it's my favourite concealer ever. I feel like it's the perfect coverage for my kind of makeup I like doing. It's like kind of she not sheer it's i'd say it's medium coverage because it covers well but it doesn't cover too much that it looks too full coverage but it's not light coverage so i think it's in between it's definitely medium coverage what two shades this is when i've got no makeup on this would be like today and this is shade 6.5 and then when i've got my flawless filter on when i've got the whole shabam on i'm tanned i've got bronzing drops everything i use 07m and it's amazing it just does really well. I don't do, I actually do do a lot of concealer, I'm not going to lie to myself. I do under my eyes and I do where I've got spots and then where I just want to like brighten up my face. This is the most amazing concealer ever. 10 out of 10. I love this. I'm not much of a bronzer girl, I don't think. Like, I've, I've tried out powder ones, liquid ones. Like, I've tried out the Charlotte Tilbury one for liquid one, and I didn't like that. But then I tried out powder ones, and I don't like that. But this is just a stick, creamy one. It's the Rare Beauty one. It's actually my favourite thing ever. I don't know if this is bronze this is a bronzer stick and it's literally my favorite thing ever like i've i'm not much of a bronze person i'm definitely more of a blush girl but i love this because it looks so natural and it blends in perfectly it just blends in perfectly and seamlessly into your skin it looks like you've got nothing on but then you can just look snatched you just look snatched i look like i've got botox i'm only 12 but i look like i've got botox I'm wearing a fire brush for it i use this side because this is like the dense side and i just drag it up and it makes me look snatched and i literally look like i've got like cheek filler i'm such a bronzing drops girl i don't even use them as much anymore because i'm always using my flawless filter but i love bronzing drops the first are bronzing drops that bronzing drops i tried out this is the say ones and i absolutely love these this is in the shade sun glow they have star glow too but i don't really like star glow i love sun glow because it makes me look so nice and so glowy and so tan i like the consistency of this too because it's like thicker so i think it looks bronzier ones i also like are these glow recipe ones this is their huge drops i don't know what shade this is in i think they have shades for this i think i don't really know but what i like about this is that it's more watery but i feel like this makes you look more tan because it's a thicker consistency but this looks more i don't know I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just prefer these ones, but I like how they both look. Now we're going on to blushes, and I have so many blushes. I have so many blushes, and I only wear the same blush every single day, but I have so many blushes. My favourite blushes by far are the same blushes. I can't even say my favourite shade because I've got like 50 million of them, but this is only one bit of my little blush collection. I've got so many. This is even all of them. Most of them aren't even unboxed yet. These are my Say blushes. I love my Say blushes. If you're thinking of getting a blush, you need to get the Say ones. I feel like they're so underrated. Say is such an underrated brand, but they're... Did I say overrated? If I said overrated, I meant underrated. But they blend in like butter. Literally feels like I've gone downstairs, got a knife, and smudged some low pack butter onto my face. That's how it blends out. It blends out so nicely. And it just looks so natural too, depending on what shade you use. I like... What shade do I like? I like the shade Chili and rosy and all of them i just love all of them but like they all look so natural and it blends in perfectly and it just makes your makeup look chef's kiss i also like this nars one this is the liquid on the shade orgasm i love this it looks natural it just looks like you've got a bit of a 
blushy, cheeky, flushy kind of look. I like these glossy egg ones. This is the most random shade ever because my cousin Anissa gave it to me, but it's orange and usually the tiny dot and it blends out nicely too. Of my Red Beauty blushes, I'm not a major fan of the liquid ones. Everyone loves the liquid ones, but I'm not a major fan of their liquid ones. I love this one though. I don't know what shade this is in. Nearly mauve. It says it there. Nearly mauve. I think that's how you say it. But I love this. It just blends in so nicely. I'm such a blush girl. Every single blush I have, I love every single one of them. They're just my favourite things ever. Um, I love my Benetton. I can't wait until I get a tan. Once I've got a tan, life is going to be complete. But I love this when I've got a tan. This and my Benefit High Beam together is literally the cherry on top. I think that's it for blushes. I need to put all of these away. I literally made a mess of my vanity table. I've just tidied everything up and I've been saying, yeah, I'm going to be more tidy. And my room is literally a pig's Another blush I love, I feel like everyone says this is really overrated, but I really like this. This is the Dior Powder Blush, and it's in the 001 Pink. I like this because I feel like that's... A lot of people don't like it because it doesn't show up much, but that's why I do like it because I feel like when I've just not got any makeup on, I just want a bit of oomph in my face. This is perfect. And also, it's got bonus points for pre-packaging. Primer, 101%. I have to say this elf one. Like, everyone... Like, I've seen everyone going on about it on TikTok, and I thought... Mm, I don't think it's going to be good. I don't think it's going to be good. I feel like everyone's just being over dramatic about it. Then I tried it out because Superdrug sent me this one and I was bam boozled. I put it on my face, put my makeup on, and I was like, yeah, it's probably just going to come off like normal. The end of the day, I'm pretty sure I went flip out or something and my makeup stayed. My makeup stayed. And this is just incredible. This is absolutely incredible. And I don't think they've got that much of a price difference. I haven't tried out this one yet, but this has got nice anyway. And I don't think they've got that much of a price difference between them. I love this and I love using it too. I love primer. I my mum doesn't like sticky primers. Like, my mum's like, ew, no, I don't like that. But I don't like the oily ones. I like the sticky ones because I just like it. I think it's fun. And I always love using my little pink mini fan to dry it too. I've had to go to my school bag to get these bits out because I literally take the majority of my makeup to school. This is one of my new favourite things for eyebrows. Like, normally I would just use my Kosas eye eye gel, but I run out of that. So then I started using the Rare Beauty one. And then I wasn't a major fan of that because it's one of those waxy ones. And I don't like waxy ones. I like eyebrow gels. So I wanted to get one from Benefit and I didn't know if I should get the wax or the gel. And I went with the gel. So this is what the packaging looks like. I just think the packaging looks bougie. I love Benefit packaging. And then this is what this thing in Bobby looks like. Kind of looks like the Charlotte Tilbury mascara. See, when I first opened it, I didn't. I just bought it. I didn't even look at it. I just bought it. But when I first saw it, I thought, this is not going to be good. I did not think it was going to be good. But I'm going to do it now because I'm actually going out shopping. So I want to do my eyebrows. So literally all I do is I just brush it up on the side that's like the spoolie. This is so good. It says, I think this is like 24 hour thingy brow gel hold i don't know what it's called for our brow setter i was close enough but you just brush it up like a spoolie and then the product that's on the flat bit i put onto my eyebrows and then i just brush it through a teeny weeny bit and they say all day this is literally my favorite thing ever for eyebrows i've not stopped going on about this since the minute i bought it i think i only bought it like last week or the week before but i've been obsessed with it it's just so good and it holds my eyebrows so well I'm obsessed. So that is all my favourite makeup products. I'm not going to do lip products only because I probably have enough to start an army. So I'm not getting started on makeup, on lip products because this is only some of them. Let me show you only. This is just some of them and there is about 50 more somewhere. I don't even know where they all are but I've got way too many and I don't know what I'm meant to do with them. So not getting started on lip products. This is all of my... This is all of my go-to and favourite makeup products. And I hope this was helpful because a lot of people have been asking me what my favourite makeup bits are. So, this is all of them. I think this is all of them. I think this is all of them. That's all of my favourite makeup bits. And I hope you all love this video and I hope this was helpful. Bye, queens. Love you.